The world's two leading smartphone makers are reaching the end of another court battle. Samsung Electronics and Apple made their closing arguments to a jury in California on Tuesday in a patent infringement case with billions of dollars at stake. Kim Jion reports. Apple Incorporated and Samsung Electronics have made their final arguments at a $2 billion trial over patent infringement in the U.S. state of California. The two sides were each given two hours to make their final cases on Tuesday. Apple's lawyer Harold McElhaney told the jury that Samsung had become the world's leading seller of smartphones by willfully and intentionally copying the iPhone maker's features. Samsung's lawyer Bill Price said that Samsung's success was based on providing the best hardware for Android and that the features under fire were already developed and included in Google's independently developed platform. Price said Apple wasn't even using three of the five patents it raised in the complaint. He said Samsung could not copy something from the iPhone if it wasn't featured in the iPhone at the time. Apple claims some Samsung devices, including the Galaxy S3, infringed on five of its patents, including on features like the slide to unlock function and automatic spell corrects. Samsung filed a counterclaim that some of the Apple's devices, including the iPhone 5, infringed upon two of its patents concerning Apple's video chatting service called FaceTime and the way in which Apple's devices retrieve and organize digital images. Apple is asking for nearly 2.2 billion U.S. dollars in damages from Samsung, who in turn has asked for more than 6.2 million dollars from Apple. Samsung was ordered to pay damages of 929 million dollars to Apple in their first trial over dueling claims of patent infringement. Both companies appealed and the decision has since moved up to a higher court. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.